So I got another excellent question from a student of mine in one of my Excel courses on Udemy, and I thought I'd share it with you all. So let me explain a little bit about what the question was and then how we're going to approach a solution to answering this question and ultimately providing a more powerful approach within Microsoft Excel of looking up information. Take a look. So open in front of you, I've got an example file. It's called lookup largest value hyphen zero one. It's an Excel document. So the question was, I've got this simple little list and I want to be able to find the largest or the maximum value from the YTD or year to date column. But it's not only good enough to just find the maximum value. In this case, it would be inside a D8. There it is, 33.5%. But I want to be able to find that value and then find an associated value connected to that. In this case, ultimately, I want to find the market's name that has the largest value. So we know it, it can be really simple to be able to find just the largest value from a column. We could use the max function, something like this. I could jump down here to the cell. I could say equals max. It's maximum, and it's really looking for one thing. I just need to give it a range of cells. In this case, D2 to D9. Finish that off, hit my Enter key, and I've now found the largest value or the maximum value from that column. That's great, and that's quick and simple to do, but it doesn't really fix or really address what I'm looking for. In this case, yeah, I found 33.5, but I now need to find the associated market name connected to that largest value. How am I going to do that? Well, Microsoft Excel, and I've talked about this in previous posts, allow you to perform a technique called nesting. The ability to take one function found inside of Excel and nest it or place it within another function. And this allows you to create much more powerful and dynamic calculations inside of your Excel worksheets. So in this case, I'm going to bring in the index function. Inside of that function, I'm going to nest the match function. Those are two very common functions that get nested with one another. But then I'm also going to take the max function that we just saw here and nest that one into the match function. So we're going to kind of be three layers deep nesting functions. And this is going to help us find the largest value within the year-to-date column, but then find the associated value of Russia connected to that value. So let me jump up into the F column here. I'm going to start out by using the index function. Now, to make this a little bit easier to use, I'm going to open up the little FX button here. I'm going to select the first option there. I'll hit OK. And here's my index function. So the first thing the index needs is, well, ultimately, I want to be able to find a market name. But I don't know what market name. Okay? So my array, or where I'm going to look, is going to be A2 to A9. I want to search the markets. Now, you might be thinking, well, I thought you were looking for the largest value. Well, we are. right? We're going to look for the largest year-to-date value. But ultimately, I want to be able to return the market associated with that maximum year-to-date value. So I'm looking through the markets. Now, normally, I inside the index function, I would give it a numeric value here inside the row num and say, I want to see what's inside row number seven. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to do that, because what if the list gets resorted and Russia moves, the 33.5 moves, or whatever it is, we can't just give it a static number. I need to give it something to look for to be able to find where Russia is located. Well, in steps, the match function. So I'm going to bring in match here. Open up a parentheses, so just M-A-T-C-H, open up parentheses. And to make it cleaner to work with, I'll go up here and click on match. And this will bring me into the match arguments. Now, match, it also, much like the, the index function, needs to know what is it looking for? And where am I going to find it? Well, the lookup value, or what it's looking for, I'm going to bring in max. So remember, this whole concept of nesting, I've nested the 
in or the match inside the index, and now I'm taking max and nesting that inside of match. It's getting kind of heavy here. So now I got max in here. I want to find the maximum value from the white td column. So max d2 to d9. Let's close that parentheses. And well, where's it going to find that at? Well, it's going to find it inside the same column, d2 to d9. It might sound a bit odd. But we're going to look for the maximum value out of all those values there, and we're going to look for it inside of that same column. Now, the match type here is a number, 1, 0, or negative 1, indicating value to return. Well, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Um, what I'm going to do is put a 0 in here, because that means I want to find the exact match. So whatever max finds from D2 to D9, inside of D2 to D9, I want to find that exact match. Now, function's looking pretty good. I got my index. It's going to look through A2 to A9. And well, which row do you want to return back from that, that index, that, that, that column of data? Well, we bring in the match with the nested max. Find the largest value. It's going to find it. It's inside of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, seventh call or seventh row. It'll return that back to the match, which then returns that back to the index. Let's see, I got one more thing here. I got to close off this one more parentheses and I'm going to hit OK. And there's Russia. Well, let's just test this out just for fun. I'm going to take uh, Brazil and let's bump that one up to like 40%. Watch my Russia over here. I hit my enter key and now I've got Brazil. Let's try it just for fun one more time. This is so neat that you can take these functions and nest them together and get them to do all this work for you. Let's see, let's do 55, and now I got Europe. 55, Europe. So the power and flexibility and dynamic that you can supply to Excel using multiple functions and nesting them together. So make sure you try this out. I put it on my blog. It's going to be down at the bottom of the blog post. Hop out to the blog, download the file, same file, look up largest value hyphen 01, and try it out yourself. Get a feel for working with index, match, and max, bringing them together, nesting them together, and getting more power out of your Excel calculations.